At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. All right, so we're currently around 11 p.m. right now. I'm in Hamilton tomorrow morning. I'm doing a skate with a bunch of pros. These are my Lafayette 20.1s. I've had them for over a year. I ended up ordering a bunch of True gear. I ended up having to cancel because True screwed up the order. And the wait times, whether you're a pro, college guy, retail, is like half a year. It's like 26 weeks. These Lafayette 34 plus 2 are the same size as these Bauer Larges. And I got these demos from Derek Bujan, Bujan Gold Tennis. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try these out tomorrow. They don't have these awesome pro laces, these little toe ties that I use. But hey, you know what? I need new gear. And I'm gonna test them out tomorrow morning. And I figure what better group to test them out with than a group of pros. So this video is going to be a pro goalie's opinions on the Bauer Ultrasonic line. Simple as that. Nope, this is everything you read online, folks. I'm not a Bauer app. Good job.
before I begin, I want to clarify one thing. This is my opinion. This is just one drop in the bucket. This isn't the universal pro goalie opinion for Bauer stuff. This is just mine. Take it with a grain of salt. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you've never heard of me before, you have no idea who I am. I play pro hockey in Sweden. And historically speaking, I haven't been a fan of Bauer year in the past. They make the best blockers, the best sticks, the best helmets, and the best skates. As you can see by all the gear that I wear, I have a lot of Bauer things. I'm not a fan of the gloves, I'm not a fan of the pads, but I just wanted to give that disclaimer before we begin. Andre Vasilevsky is one of the few goalies in the world that uses Bauer and is so elite and so dominant while wearing it. Majority of goalies in the world don't have a 10 foot wide butterfly flare. Majority of goalies aren't just retardedly athletic like he is. A lot of guys are like me, they're slow, we're not the widest butterfly, a little sluggish sometimes, and a lot of just, you know, you're a big guy, get hit with pucks. That's where I make my money. I get hit with pucks, I'm six foot five, I like to use that to my advantage. The thing that I really didn't like about the pads, well, first off, the rebounds are insanely hot. Best rebounds in the market, any pad, any blocker, Bauer. End of story. But the problem is, I think personally, toe ties are the meat and potatoes of your connection point with the pad. You know, you can have shitty strapping. If you can have a good toe tie, you can get away with it. But if you have great strapping and a shitty toe tie, I don't think you can get away with that. Because the pro laces and the toe ties that I use have my goddamn name on it. But there's a reason why, because we made a toe tie that was the best in the market, the best performance, the best feel, and it's not sloppy. Like the reason why so many people hate toe ties, just in general, is because Monster Hockey came on the scene probably 2014, 2015, and they made these toe ties that were revolutionary in a lot of senses. They also weren't at the same time because they're so sloppy. Like there's no, there's no give. They just, like look at that. That's your connection point when you're on the post. And if you're watching the skate today, you were seeing I'm slipping off the post a lot of times. Also, the toe bridge here isn't, it's not great. It really isn't. Like, I got a nice big toe bridge, nice landing piece. So when I'm coming to the post, I got that little anchor. Also, the toe tie here, super long, right? So now I have more stretch. It's also, it's got some sturdiness to it. So it's not sloppy, like these monster straps they got or whatever the hell these are. This, I can pull, I, looks pretty familiar. Not the same. You got some slack, you got some pull, you got durability. Like this is the most important piece. The Lefebvre 20.1 fast rotation system, it's it's all right. I think there's a lot of ways they can improve it. Like it rotates a lot forward. I like it because it helps me make saves leading forward. The pad also over rotates like there's no tomorrow. Like there's things to be fixed, but toe ties where it all begins. I felt sloppy on the ice. I didn't feel like the pad rotated the way that I wanted. It just kept dropping and I kept sliding out of the knee stack and out of the cradle. These are just a stock demo set. Like this is not anything special. It's not custom. I'm not sitting down here talking with a rep, a Spenny, Richie, all these guys, and just let, let's go through 5,000 specs. It's just retail off the shelf. The same thing that you'd be getting if you're ordering Bauer. Crazy light, great rebounds, over rotate, underperform, shitty toe ties. They need better toe bridges. Just generally speaking, I think it just comes down to the company makes gear a certain way with a certain style and a certain look that either works for you or doesn't. Graphics aside, I don't, I actually don't, don't mind the ultrasonic graphic. I think the ultrasonic is a pretty sharp looking graphic, all things considered. The way Bauer's making their gear, I have an air butterfly. I'm a big guy. I'm halfway broken and halfway to retirement at the same time. Like all of those things don't really work for what Bauer is trying to accomplish. I also, I'm a 580 break kind of guy. I need my glove with a 90 degree break. That's why I like to catch pucks. Jamie Phillips, this guy, former Manitoba Moose goalie, Winnipeg Jets organization, he swore by it, he told me, Trav, get a 580, this will change your life. So I did. Problem is, he's a Bauer guy, he's a real pro, not a fake pro like me. I'm not a fan of the ultrasonics. I personally wouldn't wear them. Maybe the hyperlights are better, I don't know. Maybe the ultrasonic twos improve on it, who knows. But, buy my freaking pro laces, promo code Trav sucks, we'll see five bucks on your pro laces set. Get a button script that Travis Beck launches in August 31st, I believe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.